so far we covered this two videos right i just hope that you have seen this video if not then just go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description section okay now today we're gonna see real life examples what is that it's about solving problems with standard normal distribution let's have an example you are going to shop in this you want to go shop in this particular mart while you're entering you just notice that the average price of the products in this particular mart is 15 dollar now you just think that the only all that you have is 12 dollar so at the same time you just notice that it is also given that the average price of product is 15 dollar with a standard deviation of 2 now because you are a statistician you got an idea and you start thinking that what could be the probability of product price being less than 12 dollar and then here you frame a question that the average price of product is 15 dollar and the standard deviation is 2 dollar what is the probability that the price would be less than 12 dollar let's try and solve this so here is the problem statement which says what is the probability that the price would be less than 12 dollar to which you can say like this as well in a statistical term this is nothing but the p represents to probability which says what is the probability of price being less than 12 dollar so to find this what we're going to do is we're going to first create a z square to draw a standard normal distribution curve so to find the z score what is the formula the formula is x minus mu divided by standard deviation x is 12 and mu is nothing but the mean which is 15 and the standard deviation which you have is 2 now when you solve this what you get is 1.5 now let's draw the standard normal standard distribution curve which is this now if you notice the mean of this curve is 0 and standard deviation is 1 so this is why it is standard normal distribution now let's try to figure out where this particular z score is available which is minus 1.5 it's right here now because we have found where the z score is and where the mean is let's try to put our actual number the mean given was 15 dollar and the dollar which you have is just 12 for which you want to find the probability so over here the thing which you want to find is or the thing which we want to find is nothing but the area at the left of this z score so z score which we got was this so whatever area comes left to this that will give you the probability of price being less than 12 dollar let's try to find it so with every z score there is a p value associated and that we can find with the help of z score table so this is the negative z score tables this is something which you can find on google we will also try to provide you a link and if you want to learn how to create this particular table you can just write in the comment if i get 20 same comment i will teach you or i will explain how to draw a similar kind of table now let's have a look at the z score value which we got so if you notice over here here it is written z and these all are z score and this is the hundredth part of that so let's see where our value is we got 1.5 minus 1.5 so that's over here and on hundredth part we have nothing means zero so we are gonna find the point where both of these two things intersect each other so this is the point so this is the probability which we have 0 0.06681 so when we take a round figure of that or maybe we can take 0 0.066 so this is the probability of price being less than 12 dollar you can also say it 6.6 percent so we can conclude that the price of product sorry the probability of products price being less than 12 is just 6.6 percent so this is how you just solve a real life problem with the help of standard normal distribution now let's have a look at 
second problem statement after this you just realize that you have a saving of six dollars so when you include that it becomes six eighteen dollar all right now you got another problem statement which is what is the probability that the price would be greater than eighteen dollar now let's go ahead and try to find that so for now i will just cover it cover it up so that it doesn't distract you and the thing which we want to find over here is price would be greater than what is the probability that the price would be greater than $18 so same method we're gonna follow over here as well x minus mu divided by standard deviation which is a formula to find z squared now x is 18 and mu which is mean is 15 and the standard deviation is 2 when you solve this what you get is 1.5 again we're gonna draw the standard normal distribution curve and try to locate this value which is somewhere over here and put our actual number mean was 15 and the value for which we want to do the prediction is 18 dollar right so what exactly we are trying to find over here is this particular area remember this time we are trying to find the area at the right hand side so like i said that every z score has a p value associated to it now let's try to find the p-value of this particular z-score. So this is the positive z-score and in this also we're going to find the same thing where our z-score is. This is this and its 100 part is 0. And we're going to find the value where it intersects with each other which is 0 0.93319. Now let's take this over here. So this is the value which we got. Now, before we proceed further, let me tell you the entire area under this curve. So don't get confused with this particular line. The purpose of drawing this line is to show the end to end point. So entire area inside this curve, which is indicated by this particular line is one or 100%. This is fundamental thing for standard normal distribution and the area which you just found 0 0.933 this is the area at the left side of z score so whatever at the left side of this z score value right so i just said whatever area whatever p value we find that represents to the area at the left side of the z score so this 9.33 is the area between this point till this point under this curve don't get confused so now if you want to find the area of this shaded part what you're gonna do is you're gonna subtract it that means 1 minus 0 0.933 which is 0 0.066 right so this is the value which you get and this is the probability of price being greater than 18 dollar so we can say it like this the probability of price being greater than $18 is again 6.6. .6. So if you observe, no matter whether the Z score is negative or positive, if the value is same, the probability is also going to be the same thing. So this is how you just solved two problems using a standard normal distribution. Now there is a third case which I want you to solve and in that I want you to find the probability of price being between $12 to $18. What is the probability that the price in that particular mark will be between $12 to $18 and I will just give you a hint for that. The hint is this is the standard normal curve or distribution you can say and the thing which you want to find is this area you're gonna find this area how you're gonna find this first you got you gotta find this particular area right which we just found right and then you're gonna find this particular area and then you subtract both of these two i mean you subtract this small part from this bigger part so if you subtract this area then what you are left with is this area and that will be probability of price being between 12 to 18 dollar i just hope that you understood this concept it was very simple i highly encourage you to go ahead and solve the problem which i just gave you 
and thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck happy learning